This is a game card, game thing. What's it called? You've probably never seen it in your life, or probably never seen it. Maybe you've seen the uh, Razer one, the weird handy thing, mouse, keyboard thing combination. But you've never seen one of these. Oh, well, you're missing half of it in reality. This is a FlexiGlow Sniper Sniper gaming uh, keyboard. Yes, it's legit a gaming keyboard from 2005. I don't know much about it, but I know a few things. He's abs absolute and utter garbage. The truth. Obviously, as a first off, I'm going to talk about its build, as usual. It's made in northern plastic, the switches are plastic, it's got memory switches for it. It's from 2004. Chucks, bruv! It has two LEDs, one at the top where this crosshair thing is, and one on the bottom, uh, actually two on the bottom to light, to light up each side, making it... Special effects! Look, you know, special. And obviously it has this little on-off switch, which I don't see much nowadays. The keys are only plastic, like I said, and have some of the most bizarre, unorthodox... Oh, that's so weird. Shapes to it. Just look at WASD. What the hell? It does come with a pad attached to the bottom. We have these little uh, two hooks down here. But I don't have it. And don't bother asking, alright? Don't bother asking. I'll put it off eBay after. I ain't completely new. I didn't get scammed, alright? Since I bought it as a single unit itself. To be completely honest, I actually don't mind how it looks. Maybe the keys up here, the 1 to, ten, one to 0 look a bit out of place. But overall, it looks alright. For some reason, this uh, this, uh, this uh, keyboard, uh, gamepad, sorry, reminds me of a uh, game I've never played. It's called uh, Battlefield 2. Got you people, parents, that bad. Kids should play. Alright, uh, obviously second section, quickly I'll go over the keys and where the position, the WASD in the middle, T, H and R, and R are to left and right, on the, on the right you shall find the T and G, and below that you will find the X, C and B. Below those letters you will find space and N buttons. On the left you have a volume up and volume down, to be honest useful, and to the bottom you find the shift and Z, and then the crouch and control L. Now we're ergonomics. I want to say nice things. I'm always saying nice things about things. But unfortunately nothing beats a proper keyboard. <sighs> it's weird. Like, real damn weird. Like I said before, the keys have these very weird shapes and sizes. Mainly the WASD keys. And obviously coming from a key keyboard with the concave keys. The flat surface of the WASD is just really weird. You might think of it for all the keys, but not. Nah. All the others, including the numbers on the top, jump, crouch, are all concave. Like a keyboard. Weird. On the flip side, it's all laid out like a real keyboard, so the keys are in their go-to positions when you put your hand down. One thing I didn't notice well, though, was that my pinky, using the shift key like most people, wanted to be in the middle between the shift and the Z key. No clue why. Having such a small shift key is really uncomfortable. 
And all right, mind you, I've got average hands, thank you very much. All right, only because my finger slips between there, pisses me off, does not mean much to you, all right? So having um, your fingers long 11 centimeters, I think, sorry, nine, nine centimeters, all right, that's how long my middle finger is, doesn't mean you're a giant, all right? And finally, after I've done my review, measured my fingers and whatnot, shall I recommend it? I mean, if you want to be cool, with your friends, be like, Oi guys, look at this, I got a gay pack. Yeah, why not? Uh, but, yeah, now, on serious notes, there's honestly no point of it. Uh, you can buy some really small keyboards on eBay. Probably for around the same price, like day 15 of this, and it was used and came fine, except for the uh, cord being all rusted, mate. Great eBay seller of Australia. Yeah. But uh, no, it, it does its job. Like I can't, I can't, I can't talk shit to it. It, it does its job. It looks all right too. It doesn't look that bad. But you also have to calculate it's from 2004, 2005. It was. It, this was a new growing trend, and it died very quickly. So I don't recommend it, but not because it doesn't do its job. Because now nah, it does do its job. But just because it's just an outdated idea, you don't need it. When you put keyboards like these that light up, do the thingy my mom's for like, what, 30 bucks? Spend a double, get yourself a good keyboard, it'll last you. This, I mean, lasts it forever, but you get the point. So, no, I don't recommend it. You should not go and buy this. This is more of a comedy skit type review, not an actual review. But yeah, I'm being honest, don't buy it. It's useless, I spent 15 bucks for nothing. There's no absolute point to it. So yeah, don't buy it. I hope you understand me. Don't buy it, there's no point of buying this. They probably even, they're not, what, Flexi Glow aren't even probably alive anymore. The last product they, re they probably released was what, five years ago? Seven, eight, nine years ago? Doesn't nine, yeah, that stuff. So, um, yeah. Nah, there's no point of this keyboard. Unless you're going to LAN parties, but then again, you're going to LAN party, bring your whole desktop, you might as well just bring that and that and that. So, at the end of the day, it, 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 roughly a third of the keyboard won't do the effect. Uh, I'm Alex Tech, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Così che eh, ti sei dimenticato? Bravo!